Hi, Joy Jules Cruise Companion. Today I am going to go for a walk around the marketplaces, the Souks, S-O-U-K, in the city of Amman in Jordan. I'm going to start from the Roman Amphitheatre and I am going to cross these two streets because the Souks are down in this direction over here. If I stay on this side, there is nothing much to see. Um, so when I cross over, there will be little shops and food stalls and stuff like that. So I just have to take my life in my hand, cross these two streets to get to the other side. Okay, just follow the lead of the two ladies. Just follow the lead of the two ladies. <laughs> there we go, there's one. And everyone's going pretty softly here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Toot, toot, toot. Made it across. So if you're looking for a pretty reasonably repriced hotel that does know um, some Australians because the guy did live in Australia for a while, you've got the Roman Amphitheatre across there and then you have Hotel Pasha just over here. So um, I think it was a clothes importer or something of that nature and they also do free walking tours of the area. So I've, I've never stayed there. So uh, if you're looking for a reasonably priced hotel, Hotel Pasha. So when you're walking, you often find these little stands. So these ones are kind of like little Turkish pizzas um, with the lamb. Um, these are stuffed. These are sausage and dog, dog rolls, bread rolls. Yeah. And these ones are like meat fills as well. So I'll get a couple of those and I'll snack on them. Oh, these are absolutely delicious as well. Um, it's a lamb meat. Let's try another attempt of crossing a street, shall we? Head over to the mosque, find some quiet space. Okay, I'm down in the Sook area and I'm about to go down an alley that I have never been down before. It looks to be clothing. Hello. 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 Have you that one before? These very beautiful lamps. And they look to just plug in to an existing little socket that I've often seen just hanging out of walls. So I'm basically come from the mosque which is down that way and I'm just going to wander through this area. This looks to be a street of general household items. Oh, it's coming for Ramadan, so they've got special things out for Ramadan. Pretty mass produced Chinese stuff here. Not sure where this alley is going to take me, but I'll give it a go. Thank you. 
Oh, we've come into the clothing section. We've got the sock section. Electrical goods. Turning random corners. Ended up in a kind of a shop. down from the Bosk just up there in the town centre and um, passing all of these beautiful smelling shops with the fragrances of all the herbs and spices just fabulous just fabulous and I was thinking that I'd missed the pigeon market or the food market so I'm gonna go down into this one for the sights and sounds <laughs> No, thank you, sir. Sights and sounds. Chickens. There'll be rabbits up here. Oh, he complimentary slaughters it for you, so that's good. Duck and quail. So duck, pigeon, quail and rabbit. And oh, they don't look very well. And uh, he slaughters them back here. Hello. So that's the pigeon market or the fresh food market. Sights and spells of Jordan. So I've been to Oman for months, over a few different years, and I have heard about the Thief's Market, but I have seen it once, haven't ever been there, and now, wandering through the, um, the fresh food one, which is the Pigeon Market, I have found the Thief's Market. So I will go down those stairs and uh, just wander through that one, I've never been there before. So I would suspect it's called a thief's market because everything looks to be second hand. It has a, a very industrial theme, very electrical. Everything's covered in dust. Second hand stuff. No women down in this one. Oh, I won't walk on that. God knows what happened to me. I wonder if there's only one entrance and exit, or if I'll have to go back. It's not looking exciting, I'll head back. One guy just got off his chair and moved in, clearly doesn't want to be filmed. <laughs> People are selling their, uh, their dates and their... Uh, Cheese. There's just so many 
sides and smells. So I've wandered around Old Town for a few hours. I went to the Roman Amphitheatre. Um, I'm driving past a very closed Jordan Museum. I'll go there tomorrow. Um, I bought a couple of scarves. Um, I've filmed some of the suits. And now I'm just catching a taxi back to Third Circle. And once again, Jim Lee doesn't speak English, so I'll just show him the address on the phone. And uh, he's switching off very quickly now.